Sport mode is on. Let's see what she do. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go, man. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle. All right, y'all. I need y'all right now, man. Give your boy the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, man. And when you click on that notification bell, click the all button. Everybody, the new merchandise is now in effect, man. Um, so go down below, check out the description, follow me on the social media platforms, all that good stuff, you guys. Um, free money, free stocks, free crypto, a whole bunch of good stuff going on down there, you guys. Um, right now, I am on the highway, and we are keeping it moving and grooving like we always are. I'm going to Manheim, Minneapolis, you guys, getting ready to do a dealer-only auction walk around video man and i'm hoping to get you guys a full video today the weather is not that bad so we got good audio or we should have good audio um and so yeah man, i'm gonna bring you guys actually inside of Mannheim today which i've never done before so i'm gonna bring you in kind of show you my process i'm gonna have to do it like really really discreetly because i'm not trying to get kicked out so i'm going to use my phone actually to get the next bit of footage i'll see you guys there y'all so i can't be super obvious but basically we are let me do a little turnaround for y'all real quick we inside here and um i'm getting ready to log in i'm gonna check out the inventory that way we got a list and then i'll go from there okay y'all so the first one we got up you guys is four number 70 it is a 2010 chevy malibu ltz it's got a flat tire so i gotta go put some air in it nice leather interior Got a, well, actually, not really nice when he's got a rip right here, though. <laughs> but we should be able to get this for cheap. Hopefully, hopefully it runs good. I already got it started up, so you can't even really hear it going. The wind started picking up on me. This is what I didn't want to happen, but I'm still gonna try to muscle through the video for you guys. I want. I know you guys been requesting these uh, walk around videos, man. So it's got a little rust, you guys. For everybody that's new to the channel, man, we are in Minnesota, and we most definitely get all of the uh seasons including some salt so that's why you see all the rust um i know oh, here's another spot over here that's rusty rusted through um let's pop this hood real quick it does have a check engine light on it you guys i can't read it because they blocked the obd port so we just kind of got to see if the engine and the train is good and then go from there hold up let me try to find this dang latch there we go all right, so it's got the V6 in there, that 3.6 liter motor. Coolant is not terribly low. Let's go underneath real quick, see if we see any leaks. Uh, looks to be pretty dry, so that's good. Let's go put some air in this tire. It's got the sunroof, of course, it's the LTZ. Um, we got a couple of cars on this list though, you guys. As you guys can see, it's pretty long, so. Um, and then plus we're gonna be able to see some other cars that are out here too let me open this joint up man oh man it's cold y'all ain't gonna lie to you but yeah man so let's uh drive this around and show you guys some more cars out here um while we're going to go get some air you guys might see something that you actually like um i think this man i really think this one's gonna be a good flip though guys not gonna lie to you so let's see what we got we go through these rows real quick Power steering is a little, little rough there. It's a little tight. It's whining a little bit. Yeah, it's most definitely tight. So once I hit the gas and it loosens up, so that could be a power steering pump or really anything, but usually it's a power steering pump. As you guys can see rows of cars here. This little S550 been here for a while. More cars over there. I don't see nothing that really sparks my interest. What about y'all? Got some nicer trucks over here, you guys. And they're getting ready. And there, they're doing a little bit of recon for the cars that's going to go for tomorrow sale. So, yeah, man. All right, y'all. Moment of truth. Let's see what she do. Okay, 40 miles per hour right now. 55. 
60. That shifted really, really good, man. That was a really, really, really good shift, man. Um, the suspension is straight. I added that air to the tire. Most definitely got to do another a little loop here. See what she do. Double check our work. Yeah, man. She doing real good. So the MMR on this one, y'all, it says about like $2,050. So if for the new people, a MMR is uh, basically what they say is the average that it sells for at the auction. Um, typically, after years of research, it's pretty dang close to what a Blue Book uh, private trading value would be. Um, so that kind of gives me a, what I should expect to buy it for. Um, whenever you're doing these cars, y'all want to factor in um, parts and everything as well so you don't overspend um, but let's drive this thing one more time. Make sure that this engine and training holds up. Yeah, she's doing good, man. Them brakes feel real, real good. Another thing that I never really articulated with y'all, y'all, was that when you're driving, you kind of want that needle to get close to half. That way, about that time, when it does do that, that's where the, uh, the actual temperature, you guys, you'll start to get to know if like that train is gonna start slipping. That's usually when it starts to slip as a uh, transmission starts to heat up. So usually during a cold, a cold drive, like, you know, like probably like when you're between like a quarter um, or below that you're not really gonna feel anything shifting funny. So um, a lot of, I've saved a lot of money, a lot of money by driving the car two, three times through the track or making sure that the, uh, the, the car actually um, started to uh, heat up, man. Um, I'm just, I just got infatuated with this uh, 2010. Oh, that's my brother in there right there, <laughs> Camaro. Yeah, so um, anyways, man, let's move on to the next one. Let's get it. Okay, y'all, so I found another one that's not on my list. It's an 07 uh, Honda Civic, you guys. Let me go right up underneath this hood first, or underneath the car real quick, see if there's any leaks. It does got 200,000 miles on it, and it does have a leak. Um, it's dripping a little bit. Hold on, y'all, try to make sure I don't lose this paper. I don't know if you guys can see that as much as I can down here, but put my hand down there see if that's training fluid yep that's training fluid so it's got a training leak and i don't want i don't obviously i can't get underneath there to see if it's just a line or if it's coming from like i'm um, the actual transmission now so i'm gonna leave that one alone um we got some more to look at we gotta see what lane we got that wind coming uh we're gonna go to lane five we go to lane five and we're gonna see what they got over there um let's see what we can find once we're going over here as well yeah of course panamera right here i've never in my life driven one um that's a 2014 with 68,000 miles on it now that's clean that's really clean okay that's really nice right there i like that y'all let's see what it looks like in the inside It's still big boy status, even though it's a 2014, y'all. Um, I don't even know how to start this joint up. Oh, there we go. To the side. Okay. Key fobs over there. Okay. This nice. A little nice little cockpit. How much would you pay for this? Y'all comment below, let me know. I ain't paying nothing for it. I'm trying to get some money today, y'all. So uh, let me keep it moving and grooving, man. I'm going to meet you at the next car. Okay, y'all, so we actually went over here to six lane and I don't even need my paper right now. There's a couple of cars that I was looking at. Um, one of them are was a Skyon TC, man, but I don't know what the heck is underneath here. It's broken glass, but I don't know if that's the roof or... Let me go up in here real quick. Let's see. All right, that's weird. That's gotta be like on the top of the... I bet you this piece costs a lot of money. You can't even get up underneath there, man. What is that? Yeah, that's part of the roof. So I would have to like price that out. So I'm gonna drive it though, if it starts up. Oh, look, same issue we had last time. So we already know what happened there. Everybody been watching my vlogs. Yeah, we're gonna leave this one alone, man. This is a huge common problem, um, which ends, oh, actually, Shout out to whoever put me up on game on these. I guess you can get these off Amazon for like $35. Um, so we're talking about 50, let's just call that 50 bucks. Um, that mirror probably over there is like 50 bucks. This right here, I have no idea. Um, but let's see if she starts up. If she starts up, then we good. I'll I, nope, it don't start. 
So never mind. Um, Dodge Stratus was on my list. This thing is a little beat up too. That's not terrible. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's go back here. Yeah, this is not something I want to put on the lot. Uh, they got a nut. It's Chevy and Pilot, man. I already got two of these. It's missing this back window here. Uh, let's see. It's got 212 on it. And it's an 08. The miles aren't too terrible, but I already got two with high miles. Okay, power steering's tight. That could be a big, big job in these, usually the rack and pins. Then it could be power steering pump and all that, and then it becomes a big, big headache. <sighs> Windshield's cracked. I'm gonna pass on this one too, y'all. Let's see what else we got. Got you a Buick Lucerne. It's a 2010 with 197 on it. Okay. Needs a detail for sure. Let me see if it starts up. Okay, start it up. Power steering seems to be cool. Cut this off. Pop this hood. Let's check this other side out. See if it's got some body damage. Yeah, it's got a little body damage right here. A little bit right here. Overall, I mean, it's decent. It is a 11 year old car. Cool it. There's no cooling in the reservoir that I can see. Uh, none in there. Check the oil real quick. It's just black. It's not. It's not milky. So it might have a coolant leak. Oh, look. They didn't have the uh, brake uh, fluid cap on it. So I bet you somebody just probably never got an oil change on this thing. Uh, doesn't seem like it's leaking. I mean, that stuff right there is pretty easy stuff that can get taken care of. And found and bought in the oil change. Ain't nothing. 198 on it. Let me see. Let me cut this off. 197. So they, they did just do an oil change and they went to Jiffy Loop. All right. Well, let's see what it does. Okay, y'all. This thing needs a wheel bearing for sure. You're going to hear the humming, but let's get it dri driving. All right. 30, 40, 50. See, I smell coolant. I smell coolant. Yeah, it's got a leak for sure then. But it, it does got the V6. I think this, I think these, I don't know if they got the 38 in it. Y'all comment below, because I know a lot of y'all buy um, these Bukes. I don't, I don't like really like Lacrosses and Lucerne's. I feel like they're hard to sell here. But uh, either way it go, it's not like, but well, the training's starting to shift a little bit funny. I don't be really tripping on, uh, on smelling coolant in like certain GM cars, like if you know the motors are like kind of built tough, but when it comes to like a North Star or a certain type of motors, then I kind of get scared. Um, but this thing got like 190 some thousand miles on it, and I'm kind of and it looks like it's not it hasn't been taken care of. So I'm gonna leave this one alone. Y'all park this back, and I'm gonna get in another car and we're gonna see what we can find. Okay, so this 2011 Dodge Avengers on my list as well. It's got 189 on it. Uh, looks like you got an aftermarket bumper on the back. Yeah, that's like a um, certified bumper because it's not painted. Uh, so, yeah, it's just got that going on. Got a little rust coming down there. It's got, I never seen a Avenger with this interior. What year is this thing again? Let's see, 2011. I think I've bought in, or bought a, uh, 2011 before i know i bought a 2010 a couple no i never got a 2011 this looks different uh this thing ain't starting up well on to the next man I'm trying to find something for sure i kind of like these little benzes over here man um it's a 05 
Oh, uh, y'all know who Benz this is, man. This is uh the Benz from uh Eric's shop, y'all. My detailer. The one that was sitting up in there. Yep, I think this is it. It's an AMG joint. <laughs> That's crazy. Small car world, man. That's all I can say. Um, anyways, oh, they got a nice little Saturn Aura right here, 2009. Let's see what the front look like. That smashed up. Uh, nah, look at that. We're gonna leave that one alone. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else is down here. Jeep Laredo, good on that. Had like 230 or something, I don't know. Too many miles. And it looked like somebody had returned it because it had like a 21 day permit in the back. So something might've been wrong with it. Um, I got the Acura TSX. It's never too many miles on a Honda, if they like to say. Faded hood. 219 on it, faded fender. It's an 08. Let's see. Ah. I didn't bring my jump pack today, y'all. It's costing me money. Yeah. Dang it. All right. I do not rock with these outlooks anymore, y'all. They got a Pacifica. Gotta be real careful with these, man. The U joints go bad, and sometimes the frame go bad on here. So you gotta be real, real careful. Okay, got like a lifter tap. Let's see if it goes away. I don't know if y'all can hear that. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit. See if the lifter tap go away by the time we get back. That might be something, just like a cheap little car. Then you just let the customer know like, hey, it's got a lifter tap on the car, so we'll see. I don't know, it don't sound like it's going nowhere. All right, we need more cars, man. So far, I think we got one car on the list. Let's see. They got this Benz right here, 07, 215 on it. I know it's a C class. Oh, look at the interior, that's nice. They got a small dealer selling this one though. Oh my God, y'all. None of these cars is starting. Dang it. All right, we're going to the next lane, man. I'm done with this lane. Meet y'all over there. All right, man, we back at the Porsche because there's no cars to drive guys so it's officially sucking so i'm gonna take this on a test drive and then we're gonna end this video because i want to drive this joint man for sure for sure and i'm happy but i'm actually excited so um let's see man let's start her up again we're gonna try to do this over start her up it's got the brake light on cut the part let's see what's going on Press brake pedal and then hit the, what the heck? All right, that's off now. Let me cut this off. Cut that off. Hit confirm, is this touchscreen? Oh, that's cool. Navigation, oh, this is a slider. Let me see. All right, we gotta mess with these buttons, y'all. Hold on, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like I said, it's my first time. Wait, what's this? Okay, that's just for the light, I guess. Um, what we got, man? We got the buttons, controls right there, memory seat, unlock and lock, all that stuff. That's pretty normal. Let's see what the rear view camera look like. All right, that's standard. Um, if y'all don't know if y'all just noticed that, it's got the uh, the sensors for the front and the side, so that's cool. Um, it's got heated and it's got cool seats. Uh, what else we got? Anything that I can see? I'm trying to see how to mess with it. 
Come on in. Uh, my brother don't like. He don't like. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. You ain't gotta be in the, in the video. Y'all look. This thing was broke. I just raised the window down and then. Oh, let me unlock it. I thought you were trying to figure out. No, I was I was trying to unlock this. I was trying to. Yeah, this dang thing broke. What? The uh. The window switch. Uh, I can't raise it back up now. Well, that sucks. All right, we're going to drive it. Y'all don't snitch on me. Okay, y'all, let's see what she do, man. Let's see what she do. Oh, shit. That look. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Nah. Hey. No boy, no. It's got a nice little little steering to it, um, a little handle into it, y'all. Suspension is cool, but I mean it is a little faster than most V6s. But let me do it one more time. Let me hit it a little more. Oh wait, we can pause oh, the sport mode. We're gonna put it in sport then. We're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna put it in sport. We're gonna see what happens. Cause that wasn't really. I ain't like that. That was garbage. What you think about that, bro? Yeah, sport mode. Let's see what that do. Yeah, that was garbage. Not success. Sport mode is on. Let's see what she do. Oh, they gave that a lot of power, didn't they? All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. We got it up to 75, so that's actually pretty good, y'all. Um, I've been able to do that with a couple of cars on this track because it's not a long track. Uh, that's pretty good. It wasn't like it put my gut in the back of my my uh, back or anything, but it, I mean, yeah, that felt that pretty pretty good, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Total difference. Yeah. All right. It's decent. I personally would give it like a 7 out of 10. I'm not paying that much money for this thing. But anyways, y'all, I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out. Peace.